Hi guys, welcome to the second week of the build. This week I'm gonna finish the bulkhead cutouts. I'm gonna start doing some framing on top of the bulkheads and the transom. For that I will need to rip some polonia wood, some strips on my table saw. And if I have time, I might start coating some of the panels with epoxy. But that's the plans and things never go according to plan, so <laughs> we better get started. Okay, I'm gonna try and follow the plans as much as possible. Um, and according to this, the next thing is to cut the bulkheads. So, or the bulkhead cutouts. I'm gonna do the forward bulkhead first. For the radius, it's not really that important, so I'll just use a spray can. Some nasty weather there today. Now the limber poles. And that's that. That's the forward bulkhead done. Next, center case bulkhead. Right, here on the plans, on the center case bulkhead, my plans actually call for stringer holes. That's the little 21 by 21 square holes here. That is not correct. This will only take the limber holes, the round ones. That is because I've had these plans for a few years and Michael is always improving and updating this according to builder's feedback. So if I do something that seems different from what you have, uh, maybe you want to put a question on the Aussie Goose uh, Facebook group, but I'm pretty sure that any major updates, it will be updated. Oh, that's a storm now. Ah, brilliant. <laughs> Good thing I'm in the workshop today. Uh, at least not raining. Anyway, I'm sure if there's any major updates, uh, Michael will put a new version out in the, uh, to all the sites that sell their his plans. So just keep an eye out for um, discrepancies between what you see here on this video and what you put on your plans, okay? Okay, that's center case bulkhead done. Okay, next I'm gonna have to start some framing. But for that, I'm gonna have to rip some strips of polonia first. I need to use my bodged up table saw, uh, which unfortunately only has a depth of cut of about 30 mil, and this is 45. So I'm gonna have to do one side and then the other. I hope I don't screw this up, because this polonia ain't cheap. Okay, I now have 45 by 20 and I will plane these shorter sections as I need them. I didn't know if we could use Polonia for spars. I asked on the previous video, people didn't seem to know either, but look at that. Look at the distance between lines. This is probably the best one of them. And still, I want to see closer grain if I want to build a spar out of this. Okay, now I'm gonna start cutting some framing pieces and 
Here is where the difference between the two methods, the timber framing method and the filleting method, start to, um, to be more evident or more noticeable. But I'll, I'll let you know as we go along. First, let's cut some bits of framing. Okay, starting with the forward bulkhead. For the filleting method, all I need is this little cleat here, about two millimeters up from the edge of the plywood. That's for the filleting method. If you're using the timber frame methods, you're gonna need another two here. and another one here all this it's not structural all this is to create surface for gluing this panel to the side panels or in this case the tank faces and the foredeck and the bottom so by doing by using the filleting method i don't need this and i don't need this because i'm going to put holes in here and this is going to be tied to the other pieces with zip ties and then I'll put a fillet gluing this piece to the side of the tanks instead of using this as gluing surfaces. I hope that makes sense. Okay, let's move to the center case bulkhead now. If you're using the filleting methods all you need is these two at the top with a space for the center case if you're using the timber frame method, you're going to need, again, one here at the bottom, in between the limber holes. And again, you're going to need two here, for the same reason as before, to provide surface area to glue this part to the side of the tanks. Of course, cut them according to plan. This is just an example. I hope this explains the difference between these two parts. Now the transom. Uh, I'm going to need a 45 by 20 here at the top of the transom, the top edge of the plywood. In previous uh, plans, this was actually here and the top was a 20 by 20. This has been changed. This is an improvement to the design. Now the 45 by 45 goes on the top and the 20 by 20 goes at the bottom if you're using the timber frame method otherwise if it's just filleting method like me you don't need this all you need is the top piece and then a reinforcement here that i will make later okay for the bow panel exactly the same small cleat at the top big one at the bottom and this will have to protrude quite a bit actually of course, this is the timber frame method. If you're going for filleting method, you don't need this one on the bow. And that's all the framing you need on the bulkheads, uh, transom and bow, if you're using the filleting method. So it can't be any easier than this. Square panels all ready for gluing. Uh, tomorrow we're gonna use the epoxy for the first time. We're gonna glue the timber to the panels and although this doesn't look like much it took me roughly four hours to do all this uh, okay i had to rip some polonia which you shouldn't have to do and uh, i had to explain different uh, the differences between the two methods so it would take me still about three hours to do this anyway but four hours that's what i work that's what is going on the worksheet right Let's do all the preparation now for gluing this. Uh, these sharp edges, you might just want to break them before you glue these pieces. On this panel, this cleat needs to be two millimeters offset. So, okay, now it's the time that if you have um, plywood which is much 
nice looking on one face than the other you have to choose that now uh, if you're gonna paint it it doesn't really matter if there was still any doubt that we shouldn't use Polonia for spars or any structural parts to be honest just watch this I had one of these pieces and I was just breaking the edges like that you know what happened see the see the grain here yeah just by doing this with the sandpaper it just snapped on the grain line it's all right here in this construction because this is only used as glue surface the structural integrity is assured by the plywood itself not these um, strips i chose this piece of polonia which has all the grain running parallel and it's actually the best piece uh, i found um, in the lot so fingers crossed that will be all right just keep it clean for now and now we will finally start with the epoxy so we're gonna need some microfibers epoxy some gloves acetone some squeegees little brush scales of course and well plastic cups so this is a three to one so 30 grams 10 grams of hardener and 30 grams of epoxy as a bit shorter now this is clear epoxy the wood needs to be pre-coated so that when you put the mix in there to glue the parts this wood doesn't soak up too much epoxy and leave a start joint so pre-coat it first and we'll do the same on these panels okay there's still a bit left so i'm going to mix some microfibers Don't really tighten this too hard or you're gonna get rid of all the glue. Get rid of most of the excess glue straight away. This is gonna this will be really hard to sand later. all you need with the tip of your fingers that's enough be careful not to glue the clamps to your plywood if you don't have these plastic bits you can put self-adhesive tape in there because epoxy does not glue plastic okay so 48 grams of epoxy was enough to pre-coat and glue the framing on three panels top leads only of course this is the filleting method that's what's left from the 48 grams unfortunately is not enough for the next one so i'm gonna have to mix some more and don't throw away the cups i always leave the cups here and tomorrow when i come to the workshop i'll try to smash it and if that is cured properly that will crack straight away if it's still soft there's something wrong with the mix and you need to pay attention always mix the epoxy and the hardener first mix it well and only after that you can add the microfibers
Okay, epoxy has now cured. And if you can check the cups. And this took me about an hour and a half to get all this ready and glued yesterday. So today we're gonna to move to the long panels. Start with the butt joints on those. I have two side panels on the table. As you can see, they are mirror image from one another. Make sure you always do them in pairs and follow the exact positioning as per the plans because otherwise you might end up with, with panels with butt joints on the wrong faces and then you will have your boat with butt straps on the outside. Follow the plans. I've drawn a line down the middle so I can keep it more or less centered. This is not that critical but it's better if you do it properly. Okay, so I drove four pins on the butt strap. This is not to hold it while gluing. That is just so that when you're trying to place this here to join with the glue, this will slide all over the place. If you got just, just little tips on the other side, it will prevent it from sliding all over the place. As you can see here, there's not much protruding from this side. Okay, I'm mixing some epoxy, some clear epoxy, no microfibers or anything, because we need to pre-coat the butt straps and the panels as well. Now I'm gonna use the remaining epoxy and mix some microfibers in there. Well done, I marked two and three and I managed to put the wrong butt strap on the wrong panels. Oh well, whatever. There's a few different ways you can hold this in place now. You can just put some weights in here if you've got them. That's seven kilos, 15, 16 pounds, something like that. You can just use drywall screws. Now don't put them all the way through and if you're varnishing the panels be careful if they go through you're gonna have an extra extra work trying to um, disguise that on the other side okay getting these panels ready and gluing them took me roughly one hour. And by now you're wondering, why did I skip all the bevels on the manual? Well, that's because while this dries, I can do that. So let's go back a few pages and let's have a look at the bevels. Right, because I'm doing the, or using the filleting method, I do not have any bevels on the bulkheads whatsoever, or the transom. The only bevel, it's on the bow panel. That's the only one I'm gonna have to um, put a bevel on. If you're using the timber frame method, then you have to do all the bevels to match the bottom curvature. Here, on the filleting method, we don't have them, so only one for me. Okay, first I'm gonna create a template with 53 degrees. If you don't have one of these, you can always use this on top of the drawing that will do or you can just make a copy of this page and glue the paper on a bit of plywood then use the jigsaw to create something like that if you have a 19 by 19 you can just put 14 
on the top and that will give you a rough um, bevel to start with but I don't because my Polonia strips are 15 by 20 I cannot use this measure here so I'll do it a different way so let's see if I don't screw this up but even if I do it's not that serious guys because you can always just plane it flat and put another strip on top if you make a mistake with the bevel so no worries there but take your time try to make it right first time Fifty three degrees. Now next step is a parallel to this all the way to the outer edge of the plywood. So no more bevels for me, uh, this the forward bulkhead that, that has 2mm offset that will only be trimmed once this is assembled and then it will be trimmed flush with the side panels. Right, I guess next is the mid seat top, get the framing done on this one. I'm mixing 28 grams for this. I forgot to put some epoxy there. Don't forget to remove the tape. Okay, these two panels are, well, almost cured. They will be fully cured by the morning. So tomorrow I will glue the other two panels. Um, I would like to coat them first with epoxy, but it's raining and it's going to be raining the rest of the week. And um, that means that you tend to get a lot more blooming or wax kind of stuff on the surface of the epoxy if you apply it when it's raining or when it's very humid. So I'm going to wait till next week, which in which we have forecasts um, I think it's five days, five days of sunshine. <laughs> it should be sailing actually. Um, anyway, so see you in the morning. Okay guys, another day, another panel, or two in this case, and pay close attention to this. If you screwed up on the other two panels, this is the last chance you have to unscrew it. <laughs> Basically, you have to do the panels always in a mirror image of one another. Do them in pairs, that way, it means that, or you can be sure that you will not have butt straps on the wrong side of the panels because there's nothing you can do about that later. Well, maybe grind it down, but still, guys, mirror image. In the assembly instructions, you will have the first pair and the second pair in different layouts or different positions. That's because you are supposed to be putting the long pleats here already uh, and it's different on 
two panels than on the other two. So, but I'm not doing that. I, I haven't scarfed the, the Polonia strips yet. So I'm making the four panels and I will add the, the strips later. But double check, triple check. There's no going back after this. Okay, if you keep your brush here with some acetone, you can reuse the same brush for, well, almost for the whole build, to be honest. <laughs> um, there you go, that's ready to go again. Just make sure to get rid of all the acetone. And same with the cups. If you keep these, after you do all the, the mixing, you leave it to dry, you squeeze it, you can remove the, all of the epoxy. Look, it's clean. Less waste, less chance of that plastic ending up in some place it shouldn't. When this is cured, I will put the small strips of wood here on the tops for the filleting method and tops and bottoms for, um, for timber frame. Uh, but before that, I need to scar some strips of Polonia because they're only 2.4 meters and I need 360, 370 to play safe. But that I'll leave for next week. Guys, stay safe. See you soon. I know guys, it's not ready, but I couldn't resist it. <laughs>